okay now we are going to study about phase diagram see the central theme in material engineering is the property of a material depends upon its underlying microstructure see whenever we are studying about a material we should know the microstructure of that material so the development of my microstructure of the material depends upon its overall composition as well as variables such as temperature and pressure so as the composition involves more elements the number of phases that may present increases so in simple what can i say the phase diagrams are not, is nothing but a graphical representation of what phases are present in a material system at various temperature pressures and composition to say it more simply you can see this examples so if i'm going to study about water so what are the components present in water so hydrogen and oxygen are the components present in the water so what is the phase of that water so how the water will, uh, will be will be looking like it is a, it is in the form of a liquid so the phase is liquid so next system what i'm going to study is about water plus ice so what are all the components present in water and ice again the same h2o so here if you see the phase it is a combination of liquid plus solid Next, what I'm going to study, study is about brain. So, brain is nothing but a solution of water plus sodium chloride. So, it is if you mix water with sodium chloride, what will happen? It is again a liquid solution where you cannot separate it. So, why should we study phase diagram? See, phase diagrams are used by engineers and scientists to understand and predict many aspects of the behavior of the material. So, we need to know the behavior. As an engineer, we, we should know the behavior of the material so because of that what we are doing we are studying about phase diagram so when we study phase diagram these are all the questions for, uh, which we can get so what condition is the material in it so it is in whether it is in a liquid phase or it is in a solid phase or it is in a combination of both is the composition is uniform throughout if not how much of each amount is present this is nothing but how much amount of a particular material is getting soluble in other material for example example if i take salt and if i uh, if i'm mixing it water there is a particular limit where the my salt and water will get mixed up so what is the portion uh, if i'm mixing uh, what is the portion that is this question is the uh, composition uniform throughout if not how much amount of each component is present is something present that may give gives undesirable properties what will happen if the temperature is increased or decreased pressure is changed or composition is varied so these are all the information these are the questions which uh, we can get from the by studying the phase diagram the answers for that one is here you see uh, to show what phases are present at different composition and temperature under equilibrium condition to indicate the equilibrium solid solubility of one element in other so how much amount of one element will get soluble in the other element and to show what phases are present at different composition see at uh, what phases are present at different composition to and to indicate the temperature range over which solidification of a material takes place at what temperature the solidification of the material is going to take place and to indicate the temperature at which different phases starts to melt so at uh, what is the temperature at which the different uh, materials is going to start melting so that is these are all the informations what we can get from the phase diagram so what are all the terminologies used in phase diagram so component if you are studying about copper and zinc if you are studying about see if you are studying about copper uh, copper zinc brass the components are copper and zinc so system copper zinc is the system right a system having one component is called unary system and the system having two three and four components are known as binary tertiary and quaternary system if the component is having only one particular compound then it is called as unary component if uh, for example if we are studying about uh, in this example what we are studying we are studying about copper zinc brass so here how many components are there we are having two components so this is called as the uh, binary component system in mostly in this subject we are going to see about binary component system okay so you know what is an alloy an alloy is a combination of two or more metals is called as an alloy so what is the meaning of solid solution we have seen previously so solute is a smaller portion of uh, a smaller portion in the solvent is what we called as a solute so solvent the major portion of the material is called as a solvent so what is the meaning of a phase 
a phase may be defined as a homogeneous portion of a system that has uniform physical and chemical properties for having so here uh, they have given what is the meaning of term phase a phase is defined as any physical distinct homogeneous and mechanically separable portion of the system right so again what i can say a phase is nothing but a single system right if i add salt with water that is a single phase system where i cannot separate the salt from the water or else what i can say water is also a single phase system where you cannot separate the hydrogen in the uh, hydrogen and oxygen from that water so next is equilibrium so equilibrium is said to exist when enough time is allowed for all the possible reactions to complete i'm giving enough and suitable time for all the reactions to complete that is called as equilibrium solubility limit so it is a maximum concentration of solute that may be added without forming a new phase see uh solubility limit is uh, for example if if i take 100 uh, uh, a glass of water in a, if i am adding some amount of salt it gets it gets mixed up well if i am adding more and more uh, so at at a particular point my salt and water gets so, uh, dissolved if i am adding more amount of salt what will happen it will not get dissolved so up to up to a limit where the salt is getting mixer is called as solubility limit and degrees of freedom is nothing but the variables such as temperature pressure and composition that can be changed independently without changing the phase or phase of the system so degrees of freedom is nothing but number of independent variables such as if i vary temperature i can vary temperature pressure or composition okay that can be changed without changing the phase or phase of the system so i can alter my temperature pressure or composition such that my phase of the system should not get changed so that is the degrees of freedom so what is mean by phase we have seen it clearly yes so here comes a phase diagram of a pure substance that is nothing but one component phase diagram see here uh, this is a phase diagram for one component system that is nothing but one component system is nothing but water is a one component system where it does not have any other components so this point is called as a triple point where um, uh, water so we know that water exists in three forms what are those three forms solid liquid and vapor so this is a triple point so this line is called as freezing line and this line is called as vaporization line so as uh, at one atmospheric pressure if you go and see at 100 degree celsius this is a boiling point if you increase the temperature further what will happen your water will be converted into vapor here this is a point where your uh, your water will be in the form of ice so this line is called as a freezing line and this line is called as a vaporization line this is called as a two phase line because here you are having a solid phase and here you are having a liquid phase though so this line is called as a two phase line so again this line is also called as a two phase line because one side you are having a liquid and the other side is you are having a vaporization see so using this uh, phase diagram what we can do is at a particular pressure and uh, and a particular temperature what is the what is the condition of the water molecule we can study so this is about phase diagram